this is a battle in the beta flash tournament number 92. We have Lurtz of Agartha commanding the Allens versus Olkimos commanding the Langobards. And again, this is in Russian, so the game text was in Russian, so if, if uh, I mess the player names and factions up, we will... I'll rectify that in the title. So, Germanic Knight Raiders, peculiar choice, but just... I, I haven't seen the rules for this tournament, but I assume it's max 6 melee cavalry, max 4 of the, four of the same. Uh, because there are 4 noble Germanic horsemen and 2 Germanic lancers. The only reason to bring Germanic Knight Raiders is if there's a cavalry maximum. Otherwise, uh, a melee cavalry maximum, otherwise you never, never see these units used. So here we have four Germanic hurlers up front, fairly standard stuff. Then we have horse heroes on the flanks, a center of Godan's chosen and Godan's men. Uh, Germanic nobles, and yeah, the four noble Germanic horsemen and the two Germanic lancers. For the Allens, we have Summation Cataphract archers. Uh, we have two, well, let's see, Elite Summation Cataphracts. Elite Summation Cataphracts, they're going to wreck anything on this side of the battlefield on the charge. Then we have Noble Alani Cavalry, two of those. Then we have two Alani Horsemen, they are only medium, but they are very good. Then we have two Summation, uh, Summation Warband, Elite Agathrasai, and Elite Agathrasai, very shock heavy. Germanic Bows, and two, uh, four Germanic Hurlers, so... Interestingly enough, it seems that some um, lately people have been gravitating more towards slingers and less towards archers, and that makes sense uh, because quite a few slingers, like Germanic, uh, Germanic slingers, are very cheap and they allow you to slow down enemy cavalry, which is very very important. They also allow you to do damage very quickly to to enemy cavalry. So. Um, it can be very, very effective, and um, it can be very effective, especially against uh, shock infantry units like these. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the Elite Agathrasai units like these are perfect targets for slingers. They're going to die a lot. But then you have the situation where both players basically have the equal skirmishing capabilities, so they cancel each other out. Now, uh, on the charge here, things get a bit unpredictable, because these Golden's Men, Golden's Chosen... They can go berserk. If they go berserk, the player loses control of them. They become unbreakable, and they are instantly fresh. Now, on the charge against units like Elite Gothrasai, they are going to die horrible deaths. Against Armation Warband, they are going to do a bit better. Um, so, uh, both players have the tools to make the other player hurt quite a lot here, but I think I would feel more confident if I was commanding the Allens in this case, to be honest. Germanic curlers here, firing on Germanic curlers. And moving towards the flanks here now, which is a peculiar choice. Getting a uh, noble, Germanic, noble Germanic horse could potentially get hit here by the... But, oh, the elite summation cataphracts. Yep, yeah, they get the charge against the Germanic Lancers. The Germanic Lancers are going to disappear under the elite summation cataphracts. Heavy versus medium. Uh, people tend to say that mass doesn't matter that much. Uh, here we have 21 kills. Here we have 2. It's not all down to mass, but this difference is not because of only because of the charge bonus health and armor. This, the, these kills are also uh, also down to the mass of the unit, which increases uh, increases impact damage. So while that has been going on, a bit of a rash uh, rash charge there by the noble Germanic horse, because the support was much much closer for for the for the Allens over here. But uh, there are these horse heroes running in. Could do a lot of damage here to these uh, these engaged cavalry units. And again, Elani horsemen charging in. Germanic curlers getting wrecked. Over here, the uh, noble Elani are mopping up Germanic curlers. These elite summations could charge in here, but it's risky because then they get tied down. Shock cavalry that gets tied down will die. 
Germanic Lancers coming in here against the Elite Gothrasai, nicely done. Uh, even such a depleted unit is going to do a lot of damage, but it's also going to die. But, but still nicely done getting it in there. So very, very ballsy charge there on the flanks. Here we have Germanic Lancers smashing into the Noble Alani. And I don't think the Noble Alani got their charge off there, or did they? Well, th they should turn it around though, but, but those, wow, those Germanic Lancers did a lot of damage. And now the Horseshoers are going to take care of the Noble Alani. Here we have the Golden's Man running, uh, going amok, going berserk here against the Sarmatian Warband. And they should have no problem getting a lot of kills here. Uh, looks like the Sarmatian Cataphract Archers still alive. Yeah, the the horse hewers, nice unit, but they just die very cheap though. Elite Gothrasai up against horse hewers. Like what he's doing here and pulling out the Germanic, uh, the Germanic lancers to get a better charge on the Elite Gothrasai. But the Elite Gothrasai might precursor these Germanic lancers. But it looks like they are not going to do so. They're going to precursor these units instead, taking them off the field. The Germanic lancers. Wow, they just died here. They did not get a good charge. Was it because of the bodies here? Possibly, or some other screwing as well. What happens quite a lot of the time when, when you charge a disorganized formation is that the cavalry stop a lot faster than they would otherwise. And here we have a lot of the, the Golden's men running out of control and... Uh, um, taking care of the summation warband at least. Let's see how they do against and this is the problem when they're going amok because now they're going to get Basically charged for free by the elite of because they're running off to these Germanic hurlers So the golden's chosen are now they're turning around and just going crazy Doing damage to the elite of in the center. Let's have a look at the generals here. Yeah, th this unit of golden's men is, is screwing up the general, Germanic nobles, uh, the the Alan Germanic nobles are not doing too well here at all. The Langobard Germanic nobles doing very well, and when the Alan Germanic nobles die, then yeah, this is this is over basically. Should be over unless we see some serious MLG comebacks from uh, from the from the Alans, but I, I don't think it can be done really. And with these rules, a lot more factions become viable. The Alans are very, very strong, but the more you limit cavalry and the more you limit, uh, the more you limit a certain type of unit, the less these cavalry powerhouses are going to matter, really. And it's going to come down more. Com uh, infantry is going to be more important than support is going to be more important. So. I have no idea why these units haven't uh, haven't routed off the field yet, but they are definitely about to. So Pyrrhic victory there for the Langobards. I think that was two defeats in a row for the Alans. Uh, Lurts taking the Alans and getting defeated by Orkemos and Lurts winning with the Saxons against the against the Alans because yeah, you can basically see why here. The Alans had decent infantry support, but nothing compared to these Godens men and. And uh, when you can only bring when you can only bring um, two noble Alani, then it starts to matter a lot less that you bring that you bring noble Alani. Um, so, yeah, lead summation cataphracts and so four heavy cavalry units here. Only f four heavy, two medium. Here we have four heavy, two medium. So. Fairly, fairly evenly matched, but but the the Allen still had the cavalry advantage here. Just the support was very good for the Langobards. So this is going to go to the tiebreaker game three between Olkimos and Lurts. Strength and honor.